Right, all new tonight at 6 o'clock, a father says he was roofied at a bar last weekend in Houston. But listen to this. The drugs were not even meant for him. That's right. He says that he finished his wife's drink because she thought a stranger may have put something in the cup. But that family is speaking only with KPRC 2's Gage Golding tonight. And Gage joins us now live from along Wild, Wild Drive in Montrose. Gage, what are you learning from police? You know, this is such a strange and interesting call, uh, case all in the same time. The Houston Police Department tells me they're actively trying to find out who it is that dropped something into that wife's drink. This all unfolded right here behind me at Rudyard's, a very popular, long-standing restaurant and bar here in the Montrose area. This is a husband wife. They've been coming here for a long, long time, 20 plus years. They were here and this all unfolded as they were going to close out. The uh, husband actually walking up to the bar there to close out their tab. That's when a random man walked up to his wife at their table. He introduced himself and said some stuff. They both kind of thought he was creepy, but she didn't want to finish her drink afterwards. The husband, well, he finished it not knowing what was going over his lips. That's when I, I looked at her and, are you going to finish that drink? She goes, no, nah, you know, I don't want it anymore. I was like, well, I didn't want to waste $8. So I grabbed the drink and I, I just swung it. I took a big swig. Um, everything was fine. We talked for a few more minutes at the bar. And five minutes later, I, I, swear, I wish I could tell you what happened. I don't remember anything. So we had to drag him in. He was crawling on the floor. He was trying to grab us, cussing us out. It was, we thought he had just been very drunk because we'd never seen him like this. Yeah. Yeah, very strange situation. Uh, Daniel took an over-the-counter uh, drug test, said they had some prescription drugs that he never even knew of, certainly didn't take. That's when they called police. They filed that report. Now, I want to make it very clear. The owners here actually just talked to the owners of Rudyard just a couple minutes ago. They seem like they want this person in handcuffs just as much as this family does because they say this is unacceptable. It's not something they foster here, and that kind of customer is certainly not welcome here. Uh, there's one thing that really jumped off the table uh, and kind of raised the red flag for the wife whenever this random guy walked up to her. I'm going to let you know what that is tonight at 10. Maybe uh, I can help you if you're ever in this situation, and maybe it could help solve this case. We're going to have that full story coming up here in just a few hours on KPRC 2 News at 10. I'm live in Montrose, Gage Golding, KPRC 2.